Pisces, and this is your daily horoscope and energy reading for June 22nd. And we're in for a turbulent day. We're in for what I'm going to label today as the ocean of emotion. I talked about it a little bit on the 21st because we started feeling the energies then. And now we're in the middle of the squall. We're in the boat. We are being tossed about. We're being tossed from one side and then going all the way to the other side. And it's just this turbulent um, feeling. And, you know, you have your moon here in Virgo and it's going to be opposing this Neptune energy. So this is a reality based energy. This is about looking at things from an analytical point of view, basing it on reality. Yet, you have your sun and Saturn and quincunx in all this water energy. When you have that, it creates this turbulent emotional episode. Now, in the areas that it's going to be creating this is in your karmic area, where you pay back your, your karmic debts, in your karmic relationships that you've had in the past or currently are in it, it's all about mending fences it's all about taking care of old issues and this energy is really festering inside you and diving deep and this is this is deep within everybody's shell you can all pick up on how just how turbulent this energy is even if you're not a water sign you definitely can Feel that there's just this churning, this turbulent feeling, this this karmic pull, this karmic tug for some of you, backwards, looking back, taking a look at where things went wrong in your life, analyzing, re-identifying yourself. So you're having that type of emotion today. Venus and Jupiter are going to be conjunct, and so it's going to be maybe um a power struggle between you and a significant partner, a partner in work, a partner in, you know, a, a creative endeavor or a partner in your life that is going to be shining the light on past karmic issues. Now, this, this Virgo moon is going to make you highly analytical about this. Yes, you can. It can make you sensitive, but it's going to calculate everything on a, okay, you know, I lived through this lesson before. I understand it. I know I have these tendencies. Here's where I want to advance. You're going to be very, very logical. The reason I say this is because Mercury is also going to be opposing Saturn, but an opposition is different from a coin conch. An opposition is energies at opposite ends. I mean, um, excuse me, a quincunx, they're at opposite ends. They're never, ever going to meet in the middle. But in opposition between Mercury, this analytical day-to-day -day thinking, you know, your the energy that helps you communicate in your day-to-day -day service is going to be opposing Saturn. So this means there's a lesson to be learned today in all of this ocean of emotion energy. And it started on Saturday. So perhaps there's a karmic pull to somebody. Perhaps you're thinking about somebody now. You're thinking about that person on, um, I don't know, there's something significant that you haven't resolved and that you that is going to put you on this emotional roller coaster. And it's going to make Saturn come in there and talk to you about it and say, hey, look, you know, this is this is, you know, something that you need to revisit. This is something you need to think about. I mean, was it a lost opportunity? Was it a lost karmic relationship? Was it a karmic debt that you need to be paid back? I mean, this is an energy. This day is a catalyst, I think, for the week to come. We have very, very turbulent waters until about Thursday, and then the energy starts to turn around. So I want you to understand these turbulent waters for what they are, Let's ride the waves. Let's experience the highs and lows together, work through them, and just know that energy gets better. It always gets better. Even in its worst day, the next day could be a lot better.
Look at today. It's a karmic day. It's a day for diving into your past, diving into the depths, diving into weakness, diving into um, habitual rituals that, you know, may not serve you in the long run. It's a day to explore. It's a day to talk about, communicate, research, a day to reach out, to find a way to meet in the middle. I hope you enjoyed your daily energy reading and horoscope, and I look forward to talking to you guys again tomorrow.